Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Real Hut Life series. And as you guys can see, man, we are your boy Franklin. We at the uh, the log house, man. Oh, I almost forgot, man. I gotta put my top up. And I, ain't, oh, man, we didn't change my boy Franklin clothes. My boy gotta go ahead and change his clothes real quick. But let me go ahead and put the top up on the uh, Rolls Royce real quick. Hey, y'all already know this Rolls Royce shouldn't even be over here, man. It's the wrong house for this joint to be at. It needs to be in the garage. So uh, we're gonna have to make a trip. I'm gonna take this back down to the city. Get a garage put on this. Okay. So can I not put the roof back on? What's going on? Okay, all right. You see how I'm getting cheese right now, man? Come on now. Let me see if I go to uh, none of these. Oh, okay. Is it? So can I not put the roof back on? It's just like me doing my bumper. Why can I not put my roof up? I need to put my top up. If I fix it, no. Oh man, I'm finna be forced to leave my top down, bro. I ain't been in rain in my joint, that's all I know. But today, today's episode, man, we're finna go ahead and we're finna get some, uh, we're finna go ahead and get some, some repo towing. Well, not really repo towing, we're actually doing some recovery towing. There's a couple of, uh, a couple of vehicles that actually had some problems, and we gotta go ahead and go pick them up and, um, yeah, get them back on the road, man. And I also wanna show you guys Franklin's new shop. Uh, we did get a new shop for your boy that we're going to be using for our, you know, basically our jobs, man. He's going to be using this shop for the trucks. This is where we're going to have all of our hauling trucks and stuff. So, we're going to have to get our 18-wheeler uh, sent up here as well as that Ram 1500 as well. So, we can go ahead and have them guys up here. I well, hope you guys do enjoy the episode, though, nonetheless. We're going to go to make our way to the shop and show you guys what we're working with. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. And we get three vehicles that we already have the map locations for because you know what I'm saying we should be able to, you know what I'm saying, get straight to these vehicles, right? We went ahead and they sent us they they went ahead and sent us the uh, locations and the vehicles and stuff that we're supposed to be picking up. Got that tech star already, man. I just gotta show y'all the new shop, show y'all what we're working with at the shop real quick, man. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode. Hope you guys do enjoy, man. If you do like these towing episodes, because I know a majority of you guys actually do really enjoy these towing episodes, uh, since we do have a new tow truck. Oh! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. But since we, since we got a new tow truck, man, and you know the the towing script mod actually works like a thousand times better now. Like it's actually a pretty pretty sick. Oh, what the hell? What is this truck doing now, bro? Is that my second? These folks real deal left my second company truck out here, bro. See, because we got two trucks. All right, man, we're going to park this, bro. That means that nobody's probably at the shop, bro. I'm about to be mad as hell. Somebody real deal left my truck up here, bro. And then look how it's parked. It, it's still running and everything, man. Let me, let me get that back up. All right, let me get my truck back on into the shop. Here's this is a shop right here. If y'all haven't already noticed, I don't know who brought my damn truck out here, but we definitely gonna have to let them go. They left it running and everything. My truck could got stolen. All right, let me go put it back. So here is the new shop. There's the truck that we're supposed to be driving. Damn, they they did a, they real did a left my one of my trucks out there, bro. I'm asleep. Alright, man. Come on. Got a fleet of tow trucks for a reason, man. Alright, let me go show you guys the shop here. Now, this is what we're working with with the shop. So, guys, as you guys can see, man, y'all see what's going on. Basically, got this side of the shop is where we're going to be dropping off cars that need to be repaired or fixed up. We can drop them off there to get their things done. Then we come up in here. This is where we're going to have the lifts. Got all the car lifts. We got a dyno in here as well. So we can do more than just, you know, car repairs and repos and stuff here at this shop. We can actually do uh, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of everything, really. Go ahead and get some work done on them. Tune in, all that good stuff. Let's go upstairs. I believe this is where my shop, uh, my shop office should be. Yes, sir. They got one of the offices, and I'm pretty sure this is the master office. Now, this is going to be my office right here. Got the safe. Definitely let me know what you guys think about the office. So got the setup. Got everything good to go. The only thing, I wish we probably should have a window or something right here. 
I feel like a window would be good to have right there. Let's see, let's go look at this other uh, office. Let's see how this other office looking right here. See, it's pretty, you know, pretty simple. It ain't, it ain't really nothing, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely like an assistance office for real. You got one, my, whoa, we got power lines coming in the building. All right, let me just go back outside. Let me see, I think that's it. Yeah, coffee machine and stuff. Only thing I don't really like about these offices is that we ain't got no windows. We got windows in the front of the shop, but none to the office. That, that's okay. I don't know how I feel about that, man. Pretty sure we should, uh, pretty sure we deserve some windows, man. But, uh, yeah. So we got like what? One, two, three, four, five. We got five car lifts or three that are actually lift the car for, up for work. And then, yeah. But it's not that bad of a shop, man. I kind of really like this shop already. Franklin's new Polito shop. All right, but let's go ahead and take my truck. Man, this one's still running. We should probably just go ahead and take this one. It's still running. All right, let's go ahead and move on now. We're going to the first vehicle that we're gonna pick up. See, we left the Jeep way on the other side too. And when we done here and we leaving here, we got to walk way over there just pick the Jeep. Uh, well, not pick the Jeep, but get back in the Jeep. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up our first our first recovery. We're actually gonna bring them back to the shop and they can come and pick their cars up, uh, you know, free of charge. The only thing they have to pay for is the repairs and stuff that we did do to their vehicles, if their vehicles needed any repairs uh, at all. So that's basically how we're gonna do that. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get on down here. We've got to make this left right here. There we go. Now, I know most of you guys, Oh wait, actually, oh, we made the left way too early. Oh shoot. I mean, I know most of you guys are probably really do enjoying this, uh, really do enjoy this flatbed script. Because I really do it as, uh, as well, man. It actually got another update, another small little update that changes how the flatbed comes off. So I don't have to, um, uh, I don't have to sit there and rev my engine, you know what I'm saying? It comes right out the flatbed smoothly now. And we could easily do our um, our recoveries, repo towings, all that good stuff. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this car over here actually got into a little accident. Like, it ran into one of these boulders, I think. I think that's what they told me. Yeah, see, it's right there. Ran into one of the boulders. And I'm guessing they couldn't drive it away. So they call it this. And, uh, hopefully, they ain't got no frame damage on there. Because if they do, man, they might be out of luck. All right, I'm going to turn the truck around because we're going to have to back up into it. I ain't going to be able to pick it up, like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's head first into a, or well, front first into a boulder. So I can't, um, I can't really back into it. I'm going to have to get it from the back. And this mod actually was supposed to get an update to be able to load cars up backwards like this. So we're going to be able to test that out right now. I think I'm kind of too high up. I might have to go onto this. Regular pavement, I mean, not pavement, but it's regular dirt. Alrighty, so let's go ahead, let's check out. Oh, the door opens now? Bro, this truck works when it want to work, man. Y'all seeing this with me. This truck works when it want to work. Alright, so we got the ram right here. It's on some off road tires. And, ooh, shoot! Yeah, that guy ate that boulder. He ate up, right? Yeah, he ate that joint. Now, let me see. I think we should be able to lower the flatbed. Let me see if we can use it. Because there is a second part of the mod that allows us to lower it from the side of the truck. And, all right, it's looking like we're just going to have to get in. But look, the door actually opens now. You guys watched in the beginning when we when we worked out of the, uh, we worked straight out of the truck. It didn't even like it, it did didn't even open the door and then we just warped straight out of it so i don't know man i right, gonna drop that flat bed see it goes down a lot smoother now and it actually goes down a lot slower let me let me actually stop real quick i gotta back it up a little bit make sure that we get hooked up properly all right now i gotta go forward a little bit there we go Damn, how far is this flatbed gonna come off the truck? Sheesh. All right, let's go ahead, let's go get it now. 
believe it should uh, hook up the same way that it hooked up before. We just gotta get in it and, you know, it should hook up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Hooked up the winch. So we got it hooked up to the back. And there it goes, it's pulling now. Ooh, let me look at the front end real quick. See what kind of damage we got on here. Yeah, that guy got destroyed. It definitely looked like it might have some front frame damage right there. That bumper is pushed all the way in. It might have some front frame damage. I don't know. Hopefully not, man. Hopefully not. Because I really, <laughs> I ain't trying to have to write up no, no total report for these folks' car. Oh, you see, we just warped inside of the truck just then, man. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up. Definitely let me know what you guys think about the flatbed now and how smooth it actually rolls up the truck. We don't have to sit and rev the engine no more. And we can actually load cars up backwards like this. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this, man. I'm really loving this right now. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. I'm really loving this. All right, let's go ahead. Let's make our way on out. We gotta go back to the shop. Uh, we gotta get some gas first. So we're gonna have to get some gas with the truck on the back. That's actually pretty fine though, man. So your boy Franklin will definitely be doing a little bit more re uh, repo towing and recovery towing out here in the country. So hopefully you guys do enjoy these uh, towing episodes because we will be doing a lot more of them. A lot more of them, especially since we got us a shop out here in Polito Bay now. We're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, countryside towing. Uh, you know, we're probably going to get some tractors and you know construction vehicles and stuff real soon too, considering that where we're at. So... Right, we're gonna go ahead and see what it do real quick, man. We're gonna see what it do. I need to get some gas first. I'm gonna go to fill up the tank to the the company truck, man. Oh, can I not get? Oh, oh I hate that. For some reason, like not all the gas pumps work. That one damn sure didn't work. Right, we should be good. There we go. Good to fill up in here. Never let me know what you guys think about the international truck. Cause I know you guys really do love these flatbed towing episodes, man. And actually, I want to try and get some other uh, trucks to work. Some other uh, tow trucks to work so we can uh, expand our fleet. Cause I know this isn't the only truck that we're going to be doing our, um, our recoveries with. And so we're going to need some really heavy duty, uh, heavy record trucks. So we're going to get a couple of those. And Franklin actually still owns his other one. We actually just got to bring it to this shop. So Franklin still owns one already, but it's another one that I want to get. So it's two of them that we're about to have at this shop. All right, so you see this joint actually does need some work done to it. So we probably should put it. Okay, all right, never mind. They don't got, they got something else in there now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off inside. There we go. Hey, I, I love how this is actually big enough to you know, I actually let this big truck come in here. I, you know what I'm saying? It's actually pretty easy. Not too much maneuvering needed to actually make it happen. Because, you know, it could be a lot worse. Like, it could be a lot more difficult to actually get this truck in here. So we probably couldn't even be able to get it in here if it was another shop. All right, I gotta move forward a little bit. Okay, we're gonna drop it right here. And it's it's kind of hard to you know guesstimate the distance that you need. All right, we go. We should be good. See, I don't know what's going on with this truck and the door. Hopefully, the mod creator actually does fix that soon. Cause oh, it actually still started. Whoa. Okay, that's surprising. Well, I mean, all it did it just had frame damage. That's all. So of course, it's still gonna start. All right, we're gonna leave that there. One of our workers should go ahead and deal with that while we're gone. Let's go ahead, let's get the flatbed up. There should be a way to actually adjust this flatbed speed. I think this is a little too slow. But definitely let me know what you guys think about the new shop and Franklin's, uh, Franklin's tow yard. That's basically what this is, a nice little tow yard. 
That's a nice little shop area. All right, the next car is actually supposed to be a Maserati. Now this vehicle isn't even like, you know, like it's not like down here to do any off-road or anything, but dude that owns this actually is like one of the uh, co-founders of the, the logging factory that's actually up the corner up here, uh, up the street up here. And while he was driving, he actually caught a flat. So we just gotta go ahead and tow him to the shop. He just needs a, a tire repair and that's it. So you know what I'm saying? And he got a Maserati Levant, he got the, the Maserati truck. So we gotta go ahead and help him out with that. I don't know why my game is actually experiencing some frame rating issues right now. But I ain't really, I'm not, I'm not liking that, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead, let's just go. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of frame issues. I actually had one of you guys actually ask me what my normal frame rate was when I played. And uh, usually whenever I don't load too many things, I can get a steady, you know, 45 to 50 without a problem. It's usually just whenever I start to load too many items, I'm gonna go this way right here. It's usually whenever I start to load too many items, that's when my IPS starts to change slightly. Or too many things. Alrighty guys, I am back and yeah, a lot just went down to uh, within the last it's like five minutes, man. And I'm finna have to, if I'm finna have to end this off pretty quick, but let's go ahead and finish up the episode. I gotta get this done. I only got like not too much longer, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick. Oh, oh, why is this dude shooting at me? All right, I don't know why this dude shooting at me. Oh no, tingle down. Ooh, that was kind of close, man. I ain't gonna cap, man. He almost got me. Woo, that was a little too close. Man, let's hurry up, man. Let's hurry up. He must have thought I was here to repo his car or something, man. I don't know what my man's is here. Man, bro, he almost got me. Let's go ahead. Let's get this. Let's get this Maserati, man. It got a flat. That's all we here for. I don't know what. A flat. That, that's what we here for. So let's go ahead. Let's get this. Let's get this Maserati loaded up and detached so we can get it back to the shop. Get this flat repaired. Come on now, almost done, and and be clean. All right, let's go ahead and pull into the uh, Maserati. We gotta go to get this guy loaded up. You see, I actually got a flat right there in the. Fr I think that's the front tire. Dude. Oh, it actually still rolls just fine though. Okay, I don't know why he. Okay, I ain't trying to roll in the flat. You ain't. Oh, there it goes. Now I see the flat. Okay. Yeah, now I see it. See, it just lifted up a little bit once it got winched. Yeah, that guy is definitely on a flat. I was about to say, it still rolls normally and all that, but nah, you can't ride with that flat. That's over with. Well, what just happened? Where'd it go? Oh my God, dude. Is, is you really about to cheese me like this, bro? Alrighty, guys. We're trying it again. I don't know why, but it just disappeared the first time I hooked it up. So <laughs> we're trying it again now. And we're going to see if it, if it does it again, then it may just be the Maserati. And I know exactly what's happening. It just hovers it like like way above the flatbed. So we'll see. Oh, it, yeah. Oh, wait. No, it completely despawned it this time. Bro. All right. You know what? I guess dude must have dude must not want his Maserati fixed. We, we're just going to go ahead and pull on off. See, because it would normally have it up there. Yeah, we're just gonna pull off and uh, we we gonna recover our last car, man. Cause it, it just seems like that does not want to get recovered today, man. So we ain't even gonna worry about it. Let's just go ahead. Let's pull off to this truck. We got one last vehicle. Now this vehicle slid off the off-roading, uh, off the off-roading uh, path, man. It, like it was actually, uh, you know, dude was driving off-road down a mountain, and his truck actually just like slid off the road. So. Yeah, we gotta go ahead and go get him now. He, he just has some damages to his truck. And uh, you know what I'm saying? We just, he can't get out of the ditch, basically. So he, he slid off the road into a ditch. And we gotta go ahead and go get him. So let's go ahead and go make this happen. So we can go ahead and see what it do, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and see, man. We got 0.8 miles. We're gonna ride down the road a little bit. 
until we get down there because we actually I really don't want to ride through the mountains like it like we could have probably did but you know what I'm saying riding through the mountains we probably got stuck with this long truck truck a little too long to be riding through the mountains so we're gonna have to go around and um, yeah hopefully we can make our way hopefully we can make our way we got half a mile remaining until we get to the destination down here so let's go ahead let's make these turns man let's make these turns here we go. Oh, I don't know why. Why everybody crashing into cars and stuff right there, but okay. And we may have to back into this area because like looking at how this area is, I think this truck is stuck in a like a, a really narrow two-lane road and we won't be able to turn around uh with the ease. It actually isn't even that far. Alright, 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 we're good, we're good. Let's just go ahead and turn right here. Let's back it up. We're going to see, we're going to make our way back there to pick up this truck. This is going to be the last one because the Maserati kind of cheesed us a little bit. I don't even know why the Maserati was doing that, but it glitched on me twice. So, yeah, two times is enough for me to be like, all right, we had enough. So, he, oh, oh, that's how he slid. My man slid directly off. Holy schmoly, man. Holy schmoly. All right, we're going to see if we can go ahead and get attached to him real quick. Hopefully we can, because uh, I think we got to get inside of it to truly attach it, like really have it, you know, winch and stuff. So hopefully I can still get inside of it while it's like this. Because it's definitely like, it's not even really like centered that well. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's hop on into this Titan. Okay, we still can get in it. And we got to go ahead and hook it up. There we go. They're gonna walk to the front so they can attach the winch. Where you where you going? Franklin. Fr Franklin, where, where you going? The the truck is that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, he needs why did he just go? Alright. Hopefully let's see if we can get it out of here, because I don't know. Ooh, 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 glitches. Oh. Okay. You done drug it. And he got it. Oh, okay, then we got some glitching. All right, let's just make our way back to the shop. This is the last one, and then we're gonna be done with the episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. We're gonna make our way down here real quick so I can drop this off. I don't know why the lady was in my way, but yeah, let's just make our way down. I'm still loading the flatbed up too. I'm just trying to get off this mountain. All right, there we go. Let's get the little flatbed completely loaded up. I'm gonna make the short trip to the shop. Alright, here we go. Come on now, get that power, man. Alright, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We're doing alright now, we're doing alright. So let's keep on going now. We just gotta get on down here to the uh back to the shop. We really ain't got too much further all right too far to go. It's like a three mile trip, I think. Not no, not a three mile. I'm trip tripping tripping. It's like a one mile and probably a mile. I don't even think it's no more than a mile. So we're gonna make our way down here. And uh hope you guys did enjoy, like I did say. This is the final episode here. This is, I mean not final episode, but final re uh recovery toy. And you guys will be getting this episode tonight at eight. I don't even know why I even say that because it's like when you see this it's going to be 8 o'clock and you're already going to be watching it. So let's go ahead and make my way down here and we're going to be done. So I hope you guys do enjoy the episode. If you guys have any suggestions on any other uh, you know, ideas or jobs that you want to see if I can do, leave them in the comment section down below. I can't believe that Maz Riley just tripped the cheese on me. That monster might just cheese on me. All right, so we're almost there. Let's go ahead and drop this truck off. See, man, my mind's kind of racing right now, man. It's a lot going on. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm just thinking about a lot. That's kind of why the commentary kind of went a little dry. Now I do apologize for that, but a lot just, a lot kind of just happened. Like this video is 40 minutes long, and you guys are probably only gonna have like 20 minutes worth of content because. I had to, I had to get up and I had to go check on some things. So, yeah, I'm just we're gonna park this down here and then, uh, yeah, make this happen, man. 
maybe I'll be able to explain what really happened in another video. Probably tomorrow, so that you guys will really know. But it's not really nothing like serious to like for me at least. I guess you could say. Why is there a UPS? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Now this truck, I'm gonna leave on the side because I don't think I should take this in. So yeah, I don't think I should take this one in. We're gonna go ahead and leave this one outside. Let's go ahead and drop this one right here. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Like I did just say, man. Cause this was a pretty cool episode. I love these flatbed toy episodes, man. And um, I hope hopefully you guys do like them as well. I ain't even gonna worry about dropping it all the way down. Cause that, that'll be a lot. Anyway, that'll be a lot. Go. It got it. Oh, we got a lot of front end damage. Jesus. I'm surprised it still rings somewhat. All right, let's go ahead and let's load the fight bear back up. And hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace on out. I need my flatbed all the way up.